take your own advice here. Yeah. 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 It looks like that's <laughs> killing you. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 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 Well, I kind of see that because I, I, I was going to join a gym and the instructor there, and I, sorry to say this, but like my friend and I were talking, and one of the deciding factors where we almost didn't join was because she appeared overweight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, we just. But once we joined a class, it's like you said, like size doesn't really matter because clearly she could do a 60 minute boot camp class back to back and no problem. And we couldn't last 10 minutes. But originally we were just kind of like, well, you know, she doesn't look like the standard, you know, healthy looking type. But she was very healthy. It's like looking at a bouquet of flowers, right? When you're going to buy a bouquet of flowers, you look at it. If it looks beautiful and healthy, and there is one next to it, and it doesn't look as, as healthy as the other one, which one would you buy? Which one do you trust that's going to last longer? Mm -hmm. That's going to serve your purposes? Yeah. It, it's pretty much the same thing. So physical fitness is for one thing, um, the image that you project of yourself to the world, but most of it is, is about you. Uh, Think about finding tomorrow. Just as you're walking in the street, you're gonna find, in Spanish we say, the hen that lays the golden eggs. In English it's the goose. So think, if you find the goose that lays golden eggs, and that was in the PowerPoint presentation too. And, I gotta show it to you. And, I have a lot of fun with it. And you're not healthy. How are you going to enjoy the fruits of your work if you're not healthy? And, and that's pretty much the main point of, of being fit, of, of not having health issues. Like you can enjoy the fruits of your work. Right. Yeah. I was going to say, I think we touched on this last week when we talked about, you know, people work till they're 55, 65, then they retire. And as soon as they retire, <laughs> the health issues start popping up and yeah. they're in the hospital. Yeah. A friend and of mine, his dad worked in Los Angeles all his life. And as soon as he hit 65, he was dead in like two or three years. And, and talking about retirement, talking about that, some people, at the, my grandfather at the age of 84 was working in the countryside mm -hmm. and he worked all his life. He exercised his, you know, all his muscles, all his life, and at the age of 84, he was still in great shape. I mean, sometimes he would invite me, hey, help me here with the backyard. I'm, no, no, bro. No, you, still, you enjoy that. So, yeah, but um, um, think about also, you're getting old, right? And there's also something that's called dementia. And dementia can be only fought back by exercising. That is the best method to fight dementia. So imagine that you know years go by, you work and work, you know, you created one, two, three, seven companies, now you have yes? What's what's dementia? Dementia is you start forgetting things. Right? You start forgetting things. And uh, the best method to com to combat dementia is by doing exercises and mm -hmm. keeping a healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And We've been talking about exactly what you said. Exercising, moving, is a lifestyle, and food. Now, 